Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be talking to you about my favorite products and my not so favorite products from the month of July. So I have a few products. I have one skincare product, a few different makeup products to talk about. So let's get started. All right, first product I wanna talk about is a new skincare product. And I think I talk about a new winter skincare product every month, but this one is a life changer. So my skin has been getting incredibly dry and dehydrated because of winter. I think I say this every video I film at the moment, it's disgusting. But one product that is completely changing my game at the moment is the Giorgio Armani Cremonera Extrema aqua pantilleria potent treatment lotion this is the most beautiful skincare product i have ever come across i love it so freaking much so basically what it is it's a treatment lotion so it's similar in idea to the sk2 i think it's the treatment essence water and jolique have just brought out their version and there's a few of them on the market i think it is a korean skincare product or it's a, it's a product I think it's Korean. So how you use it is you use it after you've cleansed and toned your skin before you put your serum and your moisturizer on. And it's like a beautiful, incredibly hydrating extra step to your skincare range. So this product, it is full of hyaluronic acid. It's full of glycerin. It's got five different skincare minerals in it. And what it does is it basically fills your skin full of hydration. So it's one of those products you only use it when you need it. For me, it's definitely gonna be a winter product. I don't think I'm gonna need it in summer, but I absolutely, absolutely love it. It has completely changed my skin. Okay, so basically how I've been using this is I've been cleansing my skin as normal in the shower, then I've been getting out and putting my chamomile toning lotion on just to balance my pH levels, and then I've been putting one pump of this on my skin and I've just been pressing it into my skin, and it's just completely deeply hydrated my skin so because it's winter i work in air conditioning and my home is air conditioned for heating at the moment because it's cold so i'm in air conditioning like two thirds of my day i'm in air conditioning and it's not good for your skin it's so dehydrating and my skin i've just been noticing i've been getting a lot of fine lines my textures become a lot worse my skin's becoming crepey i'm almost getting a little bit of surface dryness so I started using this along with my usual nighttime skincare routine and it has been incredible. Now this bottle is 150 mils, so it's a big bottle. Like a normal serum or moisturizer is usually 30 to 50 mil, and this is three times the size. It's ginormous. Um, it's a hundred, it was 188 Australian dollars. So it's not cheap, but for the size of it, and for what it's done, I absolutely love it. Like, I think in summer, I won't need it. It's gonna be a winter product for me, but this has blew my mind. I've never really used a lot of Armani skincare. It's just, it's not one of those skincare ranges that is talked about. It's not one of those high-end skin skincare ranges like SK2 or Sicily or Chanel that people kind of talk about and rave about, but it's beautiful. Like their skincare is actually really, really incredible. And I definitely want to try a few of their other products. This is what I've started with and I'm super, super happy with it. Um, so if you're feeling really dry and dehydrated and everything you're doing is not enough and you just feel like you need an extra step, definitely either try and get a sample of this or go and have a feel of it in the store and definitely pick one of these up. I can't recommend it highly enough. I'm telling everyone about it at the moment because it's just spectacular. Okay, next product I wanna talk about is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. So if you watch my channel, you'll have seen me starting to use this for about a month now, and you'll also have seen my high-end versus affordable challenge that I did with it against the NARS Creamy Concealer. And this one, it wasn't a hands-down win. The Creamy Concealer really fought its corner, but overall this one, and this is a fantastic concealer. Now, what I use this concealer for is I use it to highlight. So I use it on my under eyes, through the center of my face, blend it with my Beauty Blender, and it's absolutely beautiful. It's quite light, it's quite liquidy, it's quite thin. It doesn't have a ton, 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 
ton of pigment in it. I wouldn't say it would be the concealer of choice for me for blemishes. I feel like the NARS creamy concealer and I've got other concealers would be better for blemishes. But I think for highlighting through the center of the face and for concealing the under eyes where it can be a little bit more creppy, this is a beautiful concealer. So I have two shades. I have 15 Fair and 20 Sand. So obviously that's my shade when I'm pale. That's my shade when I'm tanned. Um, but I really, really love these concealers. These are 15 Australian dollars, whereas the NARS Creamy Concealers are 43 Australian dollars. So it's like third of the price just as good if not better, doesn't crease, doesn't accentuate lines or texture, doesn't move throughout the day, it's just the fantastic concealers. So if you haven't already tried these, definitely go and give them a try if you can get hold of them. They're quite hard to get hold of because they're so freaking good, they're sold out everywhere. But if you see one in store, definitely pick it up and give it a try because you will absolutely love it. Okay, the next products I want to talk about, I don't actually think... I've properly used them in a tutorial yet. I think I have, but I've kind of like skipped over them. I haven't really talked about them yet. And it is a couple of products that I picked up from Physicians Formula. So first of all, I picked up their Bronze Booster Airbrush Bronzingville Deluxe Edition Bronze Booster in the shade Light to Medium. So this is it here. It is so freaking pretty. Now, I swatched it in the store and I was like, oh, this is so nice. And then the first time I used it, it had some kind of coating on the top, I think. And the first time I used it, it looked like really red on my face. And I was like, what the fuck? And then once I kind of got through that top layer and I've been using it ever since and I absolutely love it. It's not super overly pigmented, which I actually quite like from a bronzer. I don't like really, really really pigmented bronzers because then it can get really muddy on your face real quick especially if you're pale like me so I've been using this on like the outer edges of my forehead underneath my cheekbones on my nose it's got a beautiful sheen to it it's not glittery it's just got like it's really hard for you to see see how my fingers a bit like reflective it's not matte it's got like a beautiful satin finish to it so it makes your skin look really glowy especially again in winter if you're dry and dehydrated and your skin doesn't want a lot of powder on it this just gives like a beautiful sheen and a glow to the skin. So this has become my favourite bronzer of the moment. I was addicted to the Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil, which I still am. It's still a phenomenal bronzer. But I was getting bored of using it. I'm sure you guys were bored of seeing me use it. So I thought I'd try something different. And this is what I've been using. And I absolutely love it. It was, I think it was $30. Um, but it's quite a big pot. And the underneath... The underneath comes with a mirror and then you get your little brush that goes in there as well. So it's quite nice. It's one of those two like layered products, which is quite nice. The packaging does feel a little bit on the plasticky cheap side. It doesn't feel like it would be incredibly sturdy. So I wouldn't go around dropping this in your handbag. I think it would crack, but a beautiful product overall. Now the highlight and the blush that I bought in the same kind of range so again the mineral glow pearls translucent pearl highlighter and the mineral glow pearls natural pearl blush now these i was super excited about they haven't really been as wow for me as the bronzer the blush is really really cute it's like a beautiful like rosy pink don't really like those little bumps on it they're kind of annoying like if you just want to get in there and you have to deal with all these little bumps it's a little bit annoying so again, I'll do a swatch for you. So that's the blush there. So you can see it's got a beautiful sheen to it. Like, don't get me wrong, that sheen is just incredible. But I had to work quite hard to get that product out. And it's same when you put it on the cheeks. You have to work quite hard to get the product out. I think it's the bumps. The bumps are so freaking annoying. Like, don't... That's not necessary. Again, similar idea with the packaging. It's got the two layers. It's got the mirror and it's got... And it's got your little brush in there, which is great for traveling. Look, it's a good blush. Again, it was $30. There is much better blushes out there for much less. So I don't think I'd be going ahead and repurchasing this, but I will use it. Like, it's a cute blush. It's just I don't think it's worth the $30 that I paid for it. Now the other one is the highlight. Now this is a really, really big highlight. It's the same size as the bronzer. Again, same packaging idea with the mirror and the brush. Again, what annoys me about this highlighter is those bumps. So when you're doing like 
little highlight points like you're in the corner of your eye tip of your nose under your brows and you're just using a little brush like you have to rub over one of these bumps to get the product and it's kind of annoying overall it's quite a pretty product like you can see it's got a nice sheen to it it's very similar to like becca pearl i think it is it's like a white highlight and it's not overly crazy like mirror reflective it's quite subtle which is what i like it's just those freaking bumps like they're annoying when you're putting your brush over it you're not getting like a nice sweep of product so i'm really excited to use this and wear it down so there's no bumps anymore i will be using it again it was 30 dollars, so all those three products were 30 dollars. i think the bronzer i would definitely pay 30 dollars again for but this and the blush i don't think i would buy again just i don't think they're worth the money and again the packaging is really like it's pretty cheap it's pretty kind of like cheap and flimsy but it's not a bad highlight and i will definitely be using it again but the bronzer the bronzer i absolutely love it. it's a beautiful bronzer okay next product i want to talk about is a brand called zoeva now i'm sure you've heard of it zoeva is like my favorite brush brand their brushes are just beautiful and they're not too expensive and their quality is incredible and i love them i've been using them for years they're a german cosmetic brand and i am in love with their eyeshadows so i have had these two for a little while and recently i picked up the rodeo bell palette and the medals palette and these eyeshadow palettes are incredible. So the pigment that comes out of these eyeshadow palettes for the money that you're paying is insane. So this is the medals palette. So let's just do, look at that. Look at that. Isn't that just spectacular? Like the pigment payoff is beautiful. Like, look at that. I've had the Smoky palette for quite some time. Really good for those dark, kind of wintry, nighttime makeup looks. And then the Zoeva Nude Spectrum palette, which I've used the crap out of. As you can see, I probably use this almost every single day when I'm doing my like my usual eye makeup routine and I don't want to think too much and I just want to put some eyeshadows on this generally tends to be the palette that I'll pick up and I absolutely love it now there's a lot more palettes that Zoeva do these kind of little small ones they've got so many different varieties and I definitely want to pick up all of them I think they're all beautiful and I think the roundabout I think they're about $30, 30 Australian dollars, dollars for a palette. And considering you get 10 eyeshadows in there, so if you're on a bit of a budget and you want to get some good quality eyeshadows and you don't want to spend a fortune, definitely have a look at the Zoeva palettes. Pick up what you can get because, again, they're hard to get because they're so freaking good. Sephora is always sold out. But if you can manage to get your hands on them, definitely grab some because you, you won't regret it. They're beautiful. Okay, the next product I want to talk about is the Makeup Forever Step 1 Skin Equalizer Smoothing Primer. So as you know, if you watch my videos, I am a huge fan of the Benefit Professional. I think it is an amazing, amazing primer. But again, like the bronzer, I was sick of using the same primer all the time. And I do like to try different ones and see how they compare. So when I finished my Benefit one, I picked up the Makeup Forever Smoothing Primer. Now, I really, I do really like it. I think it makes a big difference to kind of the pores and the texture, and I think it does work. But I do believe, and in my opinion, I think the Benefit one is just a little bit better. The texture of this one, let me show you it. So the Benefit one is really kind of moussey, and it's quite thick, and when you put it on, you can see it really fills in that texture, and you can see the immediate difference. Now, the Makeup Forever one is a lot more kind of thin. It's very, it's so hard for you to see what I'm doing right now, but it's very like liquidy and it's very kind of thin and it feels really liquidy on the face. And I put it on and I'm like, are you doing anything? Like you're so like liquidy. How are you filling pores when you're not like a thick texture like the Benefit one? I do like it. I am gonna keep on using it obviously because I bought it and I'm gonna see how good it is. Um. But I think I might pick up another Benefit one and then just do a really good comparison test and just see which one actually is better. Um, in my head, I'm just like, oh, I wish I bought the Benefit one again. I just don't feel like this one is as good. So that one, it's not really a favour or a hate. It's kind of like an in-between. I'm not sure yet. Um, but I'm going to keep trying, keep giving it a good try and then we'll see how it goes.
Now the last product I want to talk about is a true hate. It's a hate, hate, hate. And I'm so sad that I hate it because it cost me quite a lot of money. And it sucks when you spend on a product that you think is going to be really good and then it's not. It blows. So the product I want to talk about is the Chanel Illusion de Ombre Velvet Eyeshadow. So basically it's like a cream eyeshadow. Now in the shop I went and had a look and they've got quite a few different colours and I had a little swatch of them and they all looked amazing on the hand and I was like this one is beautiful that's going to be like a great everyday base eyeshadow. If I can't be bothered putting makeup on or anything on my eyes and I just want to put something on there it's going to be really pretty and really pink and girly and peachy and it's just a load of shit. So basically it's really moussey. Like you think it's going to be creamy but it's actually really moussey and there is just, there's just the most minimal amount of colour payoff and it's just, it's like putty. It's the weirdest freaking texture. Like, like I've been swirling in there forever. Like I'm swirling really hard and I'm really trying to get some product on my hand and it's just like nothing is happening. Nothing is happening. It's so like nothing. It's just a nothing product. So one morning I was doing my makeup for work and I really wanted to use this and I was trying to put it on and I hated it. It was just like, it was dry and it was just clinging to every little bit of texture on my eyelid. And it was like the primer underneath it was picking it up and it was just a mess. I used my finger, I used several different brushes, I used the brush that it came with. Nothing worked with this product and I really want it to work. Like it was $50 for this little pot and... <laughs> They're like 30 and there's like a 10 of them and that's one and it's $50 and it just really made me spew. They've got other colours and I haven't tried them on my eyes but the Chanel girl loves them and maybe it's just the colour, maybe it's just this colour is just like a nothing colour. Like there is nothing there, there's nothing happening. It's so frustrating and I really think it looks so pretty in the packaging but Look, look, there's a big hole in the middle and that's not even me putting it on my face. That's me trying to get some freaking pigment out. Nothing happened. Don't waste your money. Anyway, I really hope you guys enjoyed that. That's all my products for today. Um, so there's a little bit of a mismatch of different products, but I hope you enjoyed it. If you've got any questions or comments or anything, leave them down below as usual and I will definitely get back to you. If you've tried these products and you've had different experiences or you've got any recommendations for me, again, leave them down below. I love to hear what you've got to say. So anyway, thank you so, so much for watching. I really do hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I put videos out twice a week. I like to do all different kinds of videos. So definitely subscribe so you can see what I've got coming up on my channel. Also check out my other social media. I have all the links down below to my Instagram, my Twitter and my Facebook. So definitely go and check out them. Um, but like I said, thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you on my next video. Bye!